right, so do I have a fun toy for you tonight? Um, and basically, I bought this device a year ago at a yard sale. I'm not sure if I paid like a buck for it, two bucks or five bucks. I think it was two bucks. And I got some other elect electronic junk from the guy. Uh, but everything else was mainly old circuit boards. But this thing is old. <laughs> uh, he didn't know what it was. And he didn't have anything else that was similar in nature to what this was. Um, basically, all I have to go off of is it says directions for operating leads in Northrop Type S test set number 5300. It does talk a lot about resistance, so I thought maybe it was some kind of um, resistance, uh, like, like multimeter kind of thing. You know, um, these guys, they test your ohms and resistors. Uh, but anyway, I posted a photograph to one of the groups that I'm in at, with uh, electronics and such. And one of the guys there said it looked like I had a, something to do, do with a Weston Bridge uh, measurement of, of some kind. And from there, I was able to go down a rabbit hole and do some research about what this thing actually was. In fact, I even found a video of a guy demonstrating how, how to use this. Um, not only did I find the what, what he was talking about pretty interesting and useful, but he also connected uh, a, a power bench supply and took video of the supply so I knew what exact voltage to apply to it as well. Uh, his device did not have the knife switches, so you know that's that's an interesting feature of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and power it on. I hooked up the resistor down here, so. Um, and then the, uh, the power supply is 30 volts that I'm playing with here. Five volts wasn't doing anything. Usually I, I do everything with five volts. So 30 volts is pretty high for me to be playing around with. So I'm gonna power it on. And uh, okay, so it's ready. So basically what we have here is um, a way to measure uh, this is a multiplier, and each of these dials goes by tens. So this is if you want to increment by 1, 10, 100, 1,000. So even though this says 0 .001, you're going from 0 .001 all the way up to 1. 0 .01 is um, 0 .01 up to 10. And then 0.1 is 0.1 up to 100. And then 1, you know, you get the idea. But basically, I think something is off with it at the moment. I have it set to lowest value. And if I just press these two buttons, you can see there's quite a bit of bounce because I'm saying there's no resistance. So let's just check to see if this has zero resistance. Um, and apparently this is saying, no, it's not a zero of resistance. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I already know what it is. Uh, so if I go up to 100 ohms, it's going to move a little bit less. And if I go to 200, it's hardly going to move at all. If I go up to 600, it's not doing anything. <laughs> um, I think it does need some calibration though, because if I go up to 300, I can still see that needle moving. And this is a 200 ohm resistor. So um, yeah, things aren't really working out the way I thought they would be with the accuracy. And apparently this is supposed to be a high, very highly accurate thing. Um, I think it's probably used for like telegraph lines or something, or was used for them. I don't think we have telegraph lines anymore. But uh, what was it? Dave, is it David Jones? He says, uh, let's take it apart. Like all of his equipment he takes apart. So I'm going to show you the inside of this, this thing. And this is heavy. <laughs> Look at that. Is that awesome or what? Um, I'll just show you the, the box is pretty much empty. Actually, there's a dry cell that goes here. Category number P124C, coil res 250 ohms. 
It says A851 on there. Actually, now I thought maybe the same number was on here. <laughs> but uh, you'll see on the side there's like this, uh, it talks about having a dry cell in there and that this metal piece is actually a ground or a contact for that cell. Uh, you can see down in there the uh, contact in the battery actually is soldered to this metal piece and it looks like it's soldered to this piece as well so it does come up there are no batteries in there though the thing's empty but check this out man uh, I love the sound of the clicking sound here. And you know, you, you have a printed circuit before PCBs, you have these really strong wires. Some you can move, some you can't move. <laughs> uh, there's a really old resistor there, up, up in there. So it's like a brown resistor. But, yeah, and that's the galvometer. But you can see on the side of these things, it's it's changing. Here's here's the thing I really find interesting is it connects on two sides. You see that? And there's something going on. Like there's there's separate circuits in here that's that's doing something like getting different uh, paths of connections going on. And if you look at the numbers, it goes from zero to nine, zero to nine. Same thing with this one, same thing with this, same thing with, with this. So it, it seems like when this guy goes all the way at 180 degrees, it's the same contacts, it's the same value. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty interesting what's what's uh, probably going on there, um, but yeah. So and I have no idea what these knife switches are for. And it looks like even the uh, the metal, or no, that's the contact from the battery. That's another contact from the battery. This is your power supply which comes all the way through here to the resistor. Let's see, and the resistor hops over that wire, literally. <laughs> it's just really crazy. I'm, I'm just like, uh, I'm looking at a circuit literally in 3D. It, it just blows my mind what I'm looking at. So actually I'm seeing, uh, is this the positive? Yeah, so the positive power supply comes in, it makes the same connection with the battery's positive terminal, which uh, comes to this. Interesting. So if this guy is like that, there's no power coming in. And then this guy is from the negative side it looks like yeah so these are labeled VR M VR and then the other one is R in MV so maybe it has to do with millivolts who knows maybe that's part of why this doesn't seem to be in calibration but it is old <laughs> Um, I don't see any dates on it other than um, it says Leeds and Northrop Company in Philadelphia. I think this is Northrop Grumman that they're uh, referencing. Well, somebody carved in the initials MS on the bottom here. Yeah. And the, uh, let's see, this does not have a date on it. This does not have anything. There used to be a, a leather handle here. 
you can see how how there's a uh, a mark of that's brighter for the wood than the rest of the wood. And look at that. There's even uh, nubs on the back end. So I guess it actually sat down. Oh yeah. Because there's, no, there's nubs on the, the lid as well. So you can just have it sitting that way. And look at it. You can look at it from that direction when it's sitting on its side. So yeah, well it's, it's definitely useful by either direction. That, that's not going to make much of a difference other than some of the words are going to be upside down. But if you've used this thing, you, you know what everything does. So that's pretty cool.